بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم أخرجي من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمي بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين We were talking about hadith 26 and we just read the hadith and had some reflections on the hadith itself now we go into uh, several chapters that Imam Khomeini has about this hadith the first is about the fact that uh, whoever embarks on a path towards knowledge Allah will take him uh, to a path towards heaven to explain this he says uh, there are two types of knowledge two types of sciences in a very general way those that are uh, meant to help us with worldly things worldly purposes worldly uh, interests and those which are for hereafter they help us in getting uh, ranks in malakut and having good position in the hereafter and normally the difference between these two is not just for example based on the content or subject of these sciences it's very much about what is your niya what is your qasd means intention and purpose uh, maybe you learn something which looks secular for example subject but your intention is to get nearer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and maybe you do something religious but just for the sake of having a job or getting a certificate or reputation etc so he says most of the time the difference between these two types of ilm is the difference in intention and purpose and then he says that uh, we have three types of knowledge which are very much related to religion and maybe these are like three types of knowledge which we can use for our akhirah one is ilm billah wa ma'arif to know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have proper beliefs number two ilm tahzeeb nafs wa suluk ilallah self-purification and wayfaring towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number three is about manners and sunan and uh, practices that as abd we have to bring and he says therefore heaven also has three levels heaven of essence which is about aqa'id and then we have heavens of qualities which is about tahzeeb and nafs if you do self purification if you purify yourself if you have a spiritual journey then inshallah you will get into heaven of sifa of qualities and then heaven of actions is when you bring your obligatory acts of worship so there are three types of heaven corresponding to three types of things that we have to do and he says be aware that heaven whether it be heaven of zat or sifat or amal heaven of essence or attributes or actions by itself is not developed heaven is like a land that you have to build you have to do imran develop it heaven of zat you need to have proper aqidah to develop it heaven of sifat you have to have self-purification and heaven of actions you have to bring your wajibat and then he says 
knowledge is always a path for performance for action and action leads to heaven so knowledge leads to what leads to heaven and then he says uh, in the hadith rasulullah said whoever embarks on a journey towards knowledge allah will take him towards heaven so suluk elan knowledge going towards knowledge is attributed to servant taking towards heaven is attributed to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says this is fine but we can attribute both to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we can attribute both to the person in the sense that this person will go to heaven but of course with the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for example in the quran he says uh, we have Rajid, rajadu ma amilu hadra. they found what they have done present so this is what is attributed to them that they have found it it doesn't make difference that much in a real sense it can be said even suluk ila ilm is something which is act of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he says mullah sadra has an idea here it seems that it is in his commentary on this hadith that he says uh, jannah is nothing other than when you perceive you sense something which is pleasant it gives you pleasure when you sense something which is painful because sorry when you have something which is unpleasant you feel pain so mulaim bima huwa mulaim brings laza pleasure munafir something which is unpleasant something which doesn't suit our purposes or our nafs don't feel good about it then this brings pain now mullah sadra here seems to suggest that heaven is just idraq mulaim Hell is just Edraq Munafir. But Imam Khomeini says Mullah Sadra himself in response to Ghazali has denied this fact that heaven is nothing than this. We believe that heaven and hell are two realities and not just the way we perceive what is pleasant and what is not pleasant. And then in the next chapter he talks about uh, another sentence in the Hadith which says angels spread their wings under the feet of seekers of knowledge he says angels have many types and just except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no one knows all the types of angels quran says no one other than allah knows his armies so no one knows how many types and how many individuals of angels are there. But generally speaking, he mentions four groups of angels. There are angels that are so much attracted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they have no attention to anything in the creation. To the extent that Imam Khomeini says they even don't know that God has created Adam. <laughs> they don't look down. <laughs> they are just focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are mustagraq. Means they are totally taken like they are droning in beauty and glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people have said noon wal qalam wa ma yasturun. This noon refers to those angels which are focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another group of angels are muqarrabun. These are angels who are close. Allah brought them even closer. And they are in the highest jabarut. And they have some also role on managing. Then we have angels who are in barzakh. Means not in uh, physical world and not in a spiritual world something in between and then there are angels who are responsible for this world for physical world 
these angels are perhaps the lowest because they are responsible for running of this physical world. Then he says, now, those angels who are very close and focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't have wings and feathers. And he says, you must be aware that they don't have such physical, you know, organs. They are mujarrad, they are immaterial. They are more abstract than having such things. But for the angels which are in alam misal means something like the dream, you know. Misal, of course, can be a reality. It means something which has uh, no mass, physical mass, but may have shape or color, whatever. So these angels who are in alam misal alam barzakh they may have wings and feathers. So you should not be surprised. But those angels which are very high, they don't have it. Quran says, As-Safa Tasafa or Uli Ajnahatan Mathna wa Thulatha wa Ruba. So there is no need to say Jannah here means metaphorically they have wings, means they don't have wing. It can be a reality, but a reality that maybe we cannot see it, cannot witness it. And then he says, seeker of knowledge, which is a spiritual progeny of Adam and angels have great respect for Adam because they had to do sajda for Adam. So seekers of knowledge are progeny of Adam and they are also to be respected by the angels and angels have regard for such people and try to help such people to grow them, to train them. And therefore, if you your eyes are open and you can see Malakut or Alam Mithal, you would see that the feet of these people is, are put on the wings of angels. Then he says that there is a hadith that in al malaika la tadaw ajnahataha li talib al ilm hatta yata alayha radan bih. Angels sometimes they uh, put, uh, make available the wings for seekers of knowledge so that they put their feet on this. And he says it is possible that angels which are mulki. They do such a things for seekers of knowledge who are more malakuti, who are more above the level of this world. And then this can go higher and higher, depending on how you are. The angels whose wings are under your feet can change. And then you can reach the point that even you um, can proceed and pass Jibra'il. And Rasulullah said about the night of Mi'raj, uh, sorry, when Rasulullah was going to the night of Mi'raj and Jibra'il was accompanying at some point, he said, I cannot go further. Law danawtu an mulatan lahtaraqtu. If I go, just an mulla naml here means anamil or an mulla, big uh, head of the finger. So he said, if I go a little bit earlier, I will be burnt. And Rasulullah went down, Kana, Kawa Kaus, Thumma Dana, Fatadalla, Fakana, Kawa Kausaine, O Adna. And in Dua'i Nod, Baby say, after that, Dunuban Raktaraban, Minal Ali Al A'la. So this shows that he, a human being can go higher than even Jibra'il. And then uh, he says that. This is something that is very much compatible with philosophical proof and arguments. There is no conflict and there is no need to interpret these things in a metaphorical sense, in a symbolic sense. And then he says, Mullah Sadra Rahmatullah Alai uh, has very good discussions 
about uh, angels in the world of Methal, which is between Mujarrad and Maddeh. And he says, uh, he has beautiful discussions which are somehow exclusive to him. The next chapter, inshallah, we'll talk about it next session, is about the fact that uh, all the inhabitants of skies and the earth ask Allah to forgive seeker of knowledge. They ask forgiveness for the seeker of knowledge. And this is very important. And Imam Khomeini has some important ideas here. For example, one idea that inshallah, I hope next week we can explain. He says, among all beings, human beings are mahjub tarin. The one that in dunya is more than any other being. Pardon? The one that in dunya has greatest uh, cover and whale is human beings and we have the potential to of course penetrate and go beyond that but uh, sometimes our understanding can be even lower than animals or than other you know beings in this world if we don't operate as a human being if we we operate as animals we can be lower than other animals inshallah we talk about this in the next uh, session inshallah so basically the summary of discussion today was that we have three types of heaven depending on three types of knowledge and also the fact that angels are really at the service of the seekers of knowledge and maybe some of them have wings and maybe they really open their wings under the feet of uh, seekers of knowledge although some of them have no wings so this is the discussion and inshallah next week we will continue. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alam.